Hey everybody, this is Ellie from elliesdailydoseblog.com and as you can see I have my hair chopped off. I got that mop off of my head finally. Um, as you can see I also have less facial hair. See? Isn't that nice? Anyways, um, I, um, sorry. Um, this video is going to be very short. It's going to be all about the upcoming holiday of Sukkot. Um, now, after Yom Kippur, which is the atonement for your sins, then we go into the festival of booths, is what it's called. And basically what that is, is um, it commemorates the time in the desert when the Jews were wandering around in the desert and they were surrounded by the clouds of glory from all four sides, up, down, right, left, you know, flick four walls, like a little hut. And the Jews lived in these little huts called Sukkot, and that protected them and shielded them from, from enemies, from the weather, from the elements. And so we, as a Jewish nation, celebrate Sukkot, and we build a little Sukkot too. We build it outside of our homes. It's four, wall, four walls. And we... Now some people actually live in it for eight days. Most people actually just go and um, eat in there. Some sleep in there, but some, most people eat in there. Now, if it's raining, depending on how you hold, you either eat in it or you don't eat in it. So, I know, and some have the custom where the men only eat in it when they're, whether it's pouring rain or 100 degrees out there. Um, and the women will eat inside. Some have a custom where the women and men eat in there when it's raining or hot or whatever and some other custom where nobody eats in it so depending how you hold anyways this, this holiday of Sukkot starts on Wednesday night it's coming Wednesday night and it goes for a week now Sukkot is also a time when the Jewish people begin the cycle of reading the Torah again so we finish up the portion of the book of Deuteronomy and we start again the book of Genesis and uh, that happens on the last day of Sukkot, which is called Simchat Torah, or Simchat Torah, uh, the Ashkenazic way. Simchat Torah is the uh, Sephardic way. Anyways, um, yeah, so there's a lot of dancing, a lot of singing. And then in the middle days, which is called Chalamoy, there's something called Simchat Beis HaShoev, which means there's a lot of dancing, there's a lot of music. Um, it's a good time. It's like basically one big block party to put it simply. Anyways, this has been Ellie's Daily Dose Blog com, or Ellie for Ellie's Daily Dose Blog com, and my last post will be on Wednesday because of the holiday coming up, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like, comment below, and I'll see you soon. Peace!